Alright, so I've got a little little math situation here for you where we know that um, two angles are complementary but we only know the actual angle measurement of one of the angles and so we have to figure out the other angle. So, um, complementary angles um, add up to 90 degrees. They form a right angle, a 90 degree angle. Um, so we can use that information or use that fact to figure out a missing angle here. So here's here's the situation. Um, angle NMO. Um, so here's here's how that works. The the middle letter signifies the vertex or the um, middle point of the angle. So if I've got an angle like this, this point here is the vertex. Um, so it, how these names work goes like um, angle NMO means NMO. That means this angle here, NMO. Okay, um, so the first piece of information here is angle NMO is complementary to OMP, so to this angle here. Um, so that means that this angle plus this angle will equal 90 degrees. They'll form a right angle. Um, and you might see, so I've abbreviated here, comp. Um, you might see that in your textbook. You might just see complementary. Um, so that's what that means. So these two angles are complementary. Okay, second piece of information is angle OMP, OMP, is equal to 20 degrees. So this guy is 20 degrees. Um, angle NMO is equal to question mark degrees. We we don't know, and that's what we're going to figure out. So, um, I'm and I'm going to call this I'm going to call this theta. And theta is kind of like um, in algebra when you don't know the value of a number, um, you call it x a lot of times. Well, when we're dealing with angle measurements and we don't know what an angle measurement is, we'll call it theta. And that's that's just a Greek letter. I have no clue why theta is used versus beta or alpha. I don't know, um, but that's the way it is. So um, so NMO is complementary to OMP. That means that if you add them up, they'll equal 90 degrees. So these two together will be 90 degrees. Um, OMP is 20 degrees, and um, NMO, we don't know, so we're just going to call that theta, and we will be able to figure out what is that angle measurement based on the fact that these two have to add up to 90 degrees because they're complementary, and that's what complementary means. So, um, what um, 20 plus what is equal to 90? Um, you could eyeball that and say that 20 plus 70 is equal to 90, or just follow your algebraic rules. Um, we want to get theta by itself, and it's uh, being added to 20, so we could just subtract that 20 away. Uh, we have to do the same thing to both sides of an equation, so that it stays a true equation. So we're going to subtract uh, 20 there. Uh, these go away. They're gone. We just have theta on that side. And on this side, we have 90 minus 20, 70 degrees. So theta is equal to 70 degrees. 70 plus 20 is equal to this 90 degree angle and a 90 degree angle, a right angle, you can signify with a little, little box type thing, a little symbol like that.